Alright, we got another little Linux distribution here that we're going to be looking at today. But before I begin, I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you guys have any questions or comments, please send me a private message and I'll try my best to answer your questions as quickly as I can. Also, I would like to thank all of you guys who have been uh, participating on my channel. All of you have been leaving great feedback. Thank you for your comments and suggestions. You guys are the best! Yeah! Okay, well now we're looking at Linux. And this is a Linux distribution for those of you who may have family members who are visually impaired. But don't take my word for it. Why don't we let this speak for itself? Linux still the candid. Linux. This is Linux, a competent Linux distribution for the visually impaired. And we are going to review this today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. We are looking at Vinix, which is Linux for the visually impaired. And um, so if you have somebody that um, uh, can't... Welcome to Orca. Orca screen reader slash magnifier frame. Preferences button. Interesting. Let's see if we can change the voice on this here. Have a little bit of a look here. Starting Orca preferences. <laughs> kind of neat. Orca preferences. Tab list. General page. Speech page. <laughs> Looks like we have some choices here. Ubuntu 11.10 upgrade available frame. Yes, upgrade now button. Eh, no thanks. Orca preferences. Speech page. Interesting, though, how this is set up. Um, Apparently, this also does Braille. Braille page. I imagine you'd have to have a Braille reader attached to your computer. Key echo page. Magnifier page. Key bindings page. Pronunciation page. Text attributes page. Okay, and then of course more sources. references. Text attribute. I can see where this voice would get a little bit annoying after a while. I'm sure there is a way to. Um, I'm sure there is a way to uh, actually change the voices and that sort of thing on this, but I've never had the need for a screen reader. So this is something I may look into at a later time. But let's see what you get with this. This is a CD version. It's based on Ubuntu 11.04, and. Um, let me see what uh, panel this is. Okay, this is using GNOME 2.3.2.1. So if you wanted to use Compiz on this, why would a visually impaired person want to use Compiz though? But you could. <laughs> so that's cool. Nice big graphics on the menu here. Nicely set up. And then of course you have a number of tools right here. Easy install office install uh, Vinix, key bindings, easy install codecs. I would imagine these are probably from the Metabuntu repositories that will allow you to view just about any kind of graphics for, or video format that you would want. Okay, and then there's Vinix development, the Vinix manual, the vinixproject.org website, and Vinix support. All right, now I'm just looking at the CD version of this. Let's see what you get with this here. 
and accessories. You get the alarm clock, auto key, calculator, character map, disk usage analyzer, file browser, file manager, G shutdown, GTK hash, help, parcel light, search for files, search monkey, take a screenshot, terminal, terminator, text editor, time and date, tomboy notes, tux commander, world clock, X tile, and graphics, you get G color 2, Shotwell photo manager, simple scan, and specimen font previewer. In internet, you get Bear, FTP, Cine, eLinks web browser, Empathy Internet Messaging, which is to say I'm going to start using that because Skype has been misbehaving. And uh, once I have that set up, I will be contacting everybody on my Skype list to let them know how they can reach me and that sort of thing. Uh, we have Epiphany web browser, Firefox web browser, GWGet Download Manager, Quibber, Pigeon, Remote Desktop Viewer, Terminal Server Client, Thunderbird Mail and News Transmission BitTorrent Client. In Office, you get a dictionary, Deloom, To-Do List. So if you want an Office program, you might want to get the DVD version. They may already have that installed in there. In Programming, you get the Bluefish Editor, Melt Diff Viewer and Python version 2.6 and sound and video. Get a lot of stuff here it looks like. You get audio book converter, audio CD extractor, Banshee media player, Brazero disc burner, desktop recorder, guest speaker, ISO master, MH wave edit, movie player, PTV video editor, pulse audio volume control, sound converter and sound recorder and system tools you get a configuration editor easy install codex easy install office there you go if you need your office it's right here uh, a file browser for root fs lint gtk change theme gtk disk free htop scheduled task tasks system profiler and benchmark ubuntu twink and unet boot and in Universal Access, you get Disable 3D Desktop. You can enable a 3D Desktop. You get GX Newer, Key Bindings, On Board, On Screen Keyboard, Orca Teacher Application, Screen Reader Magnifier, Vinix Development, Vinix Manual, Vinix Support. You also get the Ubuntu Software Center. You can navigate to your uh, places on your computer. And then, of course, you have system preferences and administration. All of these come standard with any Ubuntu install. Let's see what else you get here. Um, I'm going to right-click on the desktop. And uh, let's change our desktop backgrounds. Let's see what kind of themes and that sort of thing they provide for the visually impaired. All right, and it'll probably take a moment for this to load. You get a standard complement of wallpapers that you would come to expect with Ubuntu or one of its derivatives. Also in themes, we have a number that we, of these that we can choose from for the visually impaired. Specifically, you have a high contrast theme. Let's go ahead and select that. And that may uh, be good for uh, people with eye defects. You have high contrast inverse, high contrast large print, high contrast large print inverse, even more large print and low co contrast themes. So they actually took the time to put together some really nice looking themes for this that uh, are going to be great for people um, who just don't see as well. So that's really good. Plus they've also got some cool themes for uh, others who may just be sharing the computer and that sort of thing. That's a nice looking theme as well. Let me see what that looks like when we open up uh, one of our um, when we go into one of our places. Um, and I'll just select the home folder for instance. And this is the Nuvola theme give it a moment because we are running off of a live CD here. 
Wow, that looks nice actually. So you have a nice distribution here that you know multiple users can enjoy yet it has some great theming and that sort of thing for the visually impaired. So uh, now I can understand uh, I, I, one of my uh, subscribers was uh, uh, was very persuasive in getting me to view this. Uh, sorry I didn't get this done sooner. I've got a lot of commitments and everything besides, you know, working on this channel and everything. Uh, but all in all, this looks like a really nice distribution and this would be something to have uh, if you, you know, if you have a, a uh, an elderly family member in the house that needs to use the computer and check email you could create an account for them and then you have all these nice themes set up uh, comes pre-configured with all this stuff you know so that so that people with uh, handicaps can uh, use the computer very nice indeed uh, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely say this is a competent Linux distribution although if you don't like GNOME 3 do not press upgrade on this thing because it, it, it may actually break some of the packages in this. And with any, uh, with any derivatives of Ubuntu, I always recommend against using the upgrade system because it does break packages and that sort of thing. So definitely worth having a look. I'll have a link to this in the show notes for you below. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. You can even visit my blog and shout me a coffee. There is more good stuff headed your way. Thanks for watching.